secure infrastructure with zero trust. Hello everyone, my name is Arun and I'm Solutions Architect with Rexspace. This is my channel and these are my views. So let's go ahead and work on securing infrastructure with zero trust. And before we start working on zero trust uh, strategy for the infrastructure, there are certain uh, baseline uh, security for infrastructure that we need to met. Before we start the zero trust journey. And these are things like uh, access to data, networks, services, utilities, tools, and applications must be controlled by authentication and authorization mechanism. It's already in place. Data is encrypted in transit and at rest. We are restricting uh, network traffic flows. We are filtering it. We have the proper visibility in all the assets or resources that we are running in Azure or on-premises. Monitoring and auditing must be enabled and, and correctly configured according to prescribed uh, guidance. We should have anti-malware uh, in place, up to date and running, of course. Uh, vulnerability scans must be performed and vulnerabilities remediated according to the guidance. So once we have met baseline infra objectives, now we can focus on implementing a modern infra with end-to-end -end zero trust strategy. All these things we usually apply, but now we are going to implement zero trust strategy for the security. So let's see what are the objectives that we need to met. The very first is workloads are monitored and altered to abnormal behavior. That's our objective that we need to achieve. The very first one. When we create new infrastructure, we need to ensure that uh, we, we, we establish or configure monitoring and, of course, alerting. This is key for identifying when a resource is displaying unexpected behavior. We can get this by enabling Defender for Cloud Standard Tier to all the resources. For identities, we can opt for Microsoft Defender for identities and advanced threat analytics. And finally, integrating these signals from Defender for Cloud, Defender for Identities, uh, advanced threat analytics, and other monitoring systems with Microsoft Sentinel, yes. Sentinel is a cloud native security information and event management system and security orchestration automated response solution, SIEM and SOAR. Sentinel will allow uh, our SOC security operations center to work from a single pane uh, of glass to monitor security events across your enterprise. That's how Azure works. It provides you centralized single pane of glass in a lot of its services, which is very much needed to work in a secure environment or to secure the environment from a single uh, pane or control plane. So this is our uh, first objective that we can met from the security point of view from Defender of Cloud and uh, gathering all that information in the Sentinel. And then there is another objective that we need to met where uh, every workload configured and deployed consistently. Yes, Microsoft recommends customers use a policy that is assigned and enforced when creating resource or workloads. Policy can require tags to be applied to a resource upon creation, mandate resource group assignment, as well as restrict or direct technical characteristics such as region allowed VM specification. Here we are referring to Azure policies because Azure means there is an open playground. People can create whatever VM they like. People can, people, people can create the resources in any region that they want. So we need to govern all that thing. There should be policies in place. All the resource should be tagged 
uh, the regions that are not allowed policy should be implemented vms which are not allowed should be implemented nsg must be applied in all the subnet should be implemented so this 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 is or this could be seen as an uh, well governed infrastructure which is essential essentially required for the for the enhancement of the security posture so this is what uh, this objective is referring to then wherever uh, human access we got to have just in time and place again we talked about defender for cloud standard tier in the very first objective and this still helping us here because we can provide just in time for the virtual machines with the help of defender for cloud this is one of the core principle of zero trust least privilege but here we are going a step further by protecting access with time means when it requires only then because no one is working 24 seven, but maybe an hour or two on a particular task for which this access is needed. Hence, just in time, when you need, you uh, a request for an access. Once you're done, your access would be revoked. Now we talked about admins, organizations should establish a protect uh, the administration and th there are certain characteristics that we can think in mind to protect our administration. For example, targeted reduction in the number of users with administrative uh, permissions, auditing elevated uh, permissions accounts and roles, creating high value asset infrastructure zones to reduce surface area, giving administrators uh, special secure admin workstations to reduce the likelihood of credential theft. All of these items help an organization become more aware of how administrative permissions are being used, where these permissions are still necessary and provide a roadmap for how to operate more securely. Features of Azure AD like PIM, Privileged Identity Management, Conditional Access, Defender for Cloud, Entitlement Management, Access Reviews, all these features provided by Microsoft can help us achieve this. Then we need to block the unauthorized deployments. And how can we do that? Well, a lot of things we have already covered, but when organization move to the cloud, the possibilities are limitless. That's not always a good thing for a variety of reasons. Organizations need to be able to block unauthorized deployments and trigger alerts to make leaders and managers aware of the issue, or maybe the policies that we talked about should be in place so that nobody can actually deploy it because there is a policy in place. Microsoft offers uh, Azure blueprints to govern how resources are deployed, ensuring that only approved resources can be deployed through ARM templates. Blueprints can show the resources which do not meet the blueprints policies or other rules are blocked from deployment. Actual or attempted blueprint violation can raise alerts as needed and make notifications, activate webhooks or automation runbooks, or even create service management tickets. Then we should have the granular visibility and access control. Microsoft Azure offers a variety of methods to achieve resource visibility from Azure portal. Uh, resource owners can set up many metric and log collections and analytics capabilities. The visibility can be used not only to feed security operations, but can also to support computing efficiency and organizational objectives, like VM scale sets, which allow for the secure and efficient scaling out and scaling in of resources based on the metrics. On the access control side, RBAC, role-based access control can be employed to assign permissions to resources. This allows permissions to be assigned and revoked uniformly at the individual and group levels by using a variety of built-in or custom rules. Now, we also need the proper segmentation between user and resource access. And of course, Azure offers many ways to segment workloads to manage users and resource access. Network segmentation is the overall approach and within Azure, resources can be isolated at the subscription level uh, with virtual network, uh, NSGs, ASGs, and firewalls. 
There are several design patterns to determine the best approach to segmenting workloads, but we need to choose what actually supports our environment. There is no one uh, design that everybody needs to implement. It, de it depends the kind of workload you're running, the kind of uh, environment you have. So these are the objectives that we need to achieve and keep in mind. And there are multiple resources or features that Azure AD has, multiple resources that Azure provides that we need to implement or utilize to achieve these objectives and secure our infrastructure with zero trust. Thank you for watching and you guys have a wonderful day.